Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, we will be introducing what a hacker carry in his bag. I mean, what can you find in a hacker's bag? Uh, to start first, I'm going to be starting with something out of our bag, which is the Hacker App One. This is one of the best devices that we can use. And this device is mainly a radio transceiver. It's uh, used to do uh, radio penetration, test, uh, penetration tests. And we can use it, let's say, to try to uh, work on the security of uh, locking systems, uh, garage doors, uh, car keys, car cloning. Uh, let's say if you want to check if your car is depending uh, on a rolling code system or a static key system, this is the, uh, the perfect match for it that you can use. Uh, regarding our second device that we will be introducing, it will be a second device in our bag for the first one. The first one I'm going to be introducing is this device. This device is called a uh, USB rubber ducky, which is an HID emulator, which is a human interface device. That's the meaning of HID. Uh, what we mean by uh, HID device is like a, this device can operate as a keyboard. And operating as a keyboard means if you plug it in, let's say, an insecure computer, it can be used as a keyboard and it can take advantage of that computer if it's misprotected. Which means this device itself, it's like a programmed human. You plug, it, you plug it inside the device and it will automatically start typing things, uh, let's say installing malicious softwares, uh, locking your computers and so on. Uh, it's mainly used to, let's say, also steal passwords and whatever is stored in the computer, it can be uh, stolen with this device. So yeah, this is the USB rubber ducky. And this one is an advanced USB rubber ducky. You will find, let's say, the detailed uh, links about it in the description of the video. Uh, the second device I'm going to be introducing is similar to the Hacker F, but it's called an RTL SDR. This RTL SDR is a radio receiver. Uh, it's like this one, the Hacker F, but the feature or the thing that the Hacker F can do uh, compared to this one, it's like this one can transmit, but this one cannot. This one is only for listening. You can use it to listen to any sort of radio frequencies or anything that's running around you on radio side. Uh, second device I'll be introducing is this one, the USB, the third one, not the second one. Uh, this device is called uh, USB uh, keylogger. It's a physical keylogger. The physical keylogger is like something similar to a uh, software keylogger, but in fact it's hardware and it's much harder to detect uh, than the normal keyloggers because software keyloggers can be detected by antiviruses but not this one. Uh, this one is dependent on hardware. Whenever, whatever you will type on your computer, it will be saved here in this computer and the hacker will have access to it remotely. They don't have even to remove this device from your computer, which is one of the most dangerous uh, things you can get exposed to. So if you find any of these, be careful. One of the other things I'm going to be showing is this one. This one is an open source uh, project on GitHub. I'm gonna share the link with you. You can rebuild it yourself. It's a LAN killer, or let's say an a uh, ARP poisoning device. What I mean by ARP poisoning is on the network side. I'm not gonna be detailed that much, but if you plug this device mainly into a network and you power it on, the network will completely die. You know, no one will have access to internet, and it can be used to redirect people to malicious uh, places, or let's say malicious links, using this device just by plugging it to a network. It's somehow a bad device for your networks. Uh, two other devices I'm gonna be showing, I call them the sisters, which are the Raspberry Pis, these two devices here. We have this one, it's Raspberry Pi 0W, and this one is a normal Raspberry Pi 0 without the W, which is the wireless. Uh, Raspberry Pi is known as, if, let's say, uh, the smallest computer we can find in the world. Uh, it can run Windows, uh, Linux, whatever you can run on the normal computer can run here. But why hacker would prefer this rather than a normal computer? It's because of the, let's say, the state mode that this device will offer you. It's like you can run Linux here, and then you just use your phone to control it remotely. You don't need an actual laptop or physical laptop. Uh, so it, you will be, let's say, on state mode. And one last two other devices I will be introducing which is the Raspberry Pi Pico. Uh, the Raspberry Pi Pico is like uh, from the family of the Raspberry Pis, 
but it's uh, let's say a microcontroller you cannot do uh, it cannot operate as one of those but it can operate as a strong microcontroller one of my favorite devices is the last one i'm going to be showing you which is this one this one is a wireless usb rubber jockey as I explained on this one, I said that this, uh, let's say, this device can take over your laptop and then execute malicious stuff when it's pre-programmed. This device doesn't need to be pre-programmed. Why? Because once it's plugged into the computer, it will, let's say, give you an access point of, uh, let's say, Wi-Fi access point, and you as a hacker will connect to it, and then whatever you will do, uh, you can do, it, let's say, Rabbitjack scripts remotely. So, which means you can write a script for this one, and then run it here remotely with just your phone. You don't need it to be pre-programmed. And you can also pre-program it. When plugged, it will execute something. Uh, it can also operate as a deauthor or a Wi-Fi killer, which means all the Wi-Fi devices next to it will be disabled, 2.4 networks. And it can also spam networks like infinite networks. One of our uh, last devices that we'll be introducing is one uh, of the most viral devices, uh, let's say, recently on the internet, which is the Flipper Zero. The Flipper Zero comes, let's say, a combination of uh, these devices combined in one uh, handy device, which is the Flipper Zero. It can do a lot of things, let's say, radio transmissions, it can clone RFID cards, RFID badges, it can also read information out of banking cards, and so on. Uh, that's one strong device you can use and it's called the flipper zero and one also device I'm going to be introducing is this one which is uh, The Wi-Fi deauthor It's another version of it. Uh, it comes this way With the screen some touch buttons a LED light here and a microcontroller from the back This device can be used to do the authentication attacks on networks and a lot of things so if you are interested in testing network security, you should probably build yourself one of those. So yeah, this is uh, everything for our video. If you are interested in knowing more about these devices, let us know in the comments and we will be sharing with you, let's say, a full video about uh, the device you want. See you next time.